with the next event on the track, the women's 100 meter final. This is the A section. Look right there in the middle. You see those Jamaican flags, especially the one and four. That's Shelly Ann Fraser Price, one of the stars of the Olympic Games, and of course for her country of Jamaica, the two time Olympic champion from 2008 and 2012. And there is Shelly Ann Dwight. And at 32 years of age, and after winning a bronze medal in Rio, where she truly was not completely fit, she's had a child, she is a businesswoman. And she has decided that the track has really, really been begging to have her back. So she has said, you know what? It is a world championship here. Now is a good time for me to get out here. Next to her, on her left, Aaliyah Brown of the United States, who went to school at Texas A&M, one of the powerhouses of the Southeastern Conference. And he has a personal best of 11.01. And next to her to Dwight is uh, Samoy Hackett of Trinidad and Tobago. And she is the national record holder in the 200 meters and the four by one. Samoy has been on a lot of big stages for TTO. Ran on their bronze medal winning four by 100 meter relay back in the 2015 World Championships that were held in Beijing. And just as I said, the rain had subsided. Here it is again, falling at a pretty good clip. But all of these athletes who've been on the biggest stages that we've talked about, whether it was in college or on to the professional level, have experienced moments like this where the showers are just coming down in sheets. But the challenge is to stay focused and stay relaxed if you can, even with that cool rain falling on your body, and keep your head about you to be able to execute a race. And frankly, for a sprinter or any speed athlete, the, the, the time right after the rain subsides is a time when you can really run fast. Oh, really? The humidity is high. That's when we saw those incredible times at the NCAA championships last year out of Michael Norman and Rye Benjamin in the 400 and the 400 meter hurdles. It's dangerous to run hurdles in, obviously. Right. Um, but that is really an ideal time for speed athletes is right after a rain stops falling. Well, the fans here in Grenada surely respect uh the accomplishments of one Shelly Ann Fraser Price in lane four. And of course, an excellent field here in this women's 100 meter A section. Harrigan Scott in one, Samoy Hackett, Aaliyah Brown, Fraser Price in four, Smith from Jamaica in five, Tarmo of the United States in six, Evans and Paulino. And they are off and work the Shelly Ann Fraser Price have. Right there in the middle of the track, and has she lost a step? I don't think so. The new mom is still the queen of the 100 meters. You know, Lewis, we've watched her incredible starts over the course of the last decade, so that's not unusual. I think that that's just innate. It's built in. It's part of her DNA. But she really did execute every part of her race very, very nicely, considering the time of year it is and how much training she's had behind her. It was just time to get out there and run a full 100-meter race. She ran a 60 meters indoors. Now she's on a full 100. That should give her a real good gauge of where she's at. The Jamaican trial is probably not going to be held until sometime in July. So a lot of work to do, but a lot of time to get it done. Look at the reaction to the gun and how well she stays down. She just separates immediately. The only person close to her the first 15 meters was Aaliyah Brown on her left. But she just pulls away from everyone. At the very end, Janelle Smith, her teammate from Jamaica, who also attended Auburn, was able to become a distant second. But I would say you need to pay attention to Shelly Ann Fraser Price for the World Championships this summer because she already looks to be in great form. 32 years old, a mom, in the rain, coming back, looking strong as she can be, still showing everybody she's the queen of the Caribbean. And we can't wait to, we're gonna look at the results here. Uh, Shelly Ann Fraser Price winning. So she wins it at 11.20. Of course, you'll have something to say about that time, but it's early, as you mentioned. John L. Smith of Jamaica was second. And Aaliyah Brown of the United States was able to get up for third in 11.46. We're going to step away, and hopefully when we come back, we get to talk with Shelly Ann Fraser Price. The rain continues to fall from Grenada, but the down to Chile. Lewis, thank you so much, Shelly Ann. Yesterday, you told me that you were excited to come out here and see where you're at. Where does that race tell you where you're at? <laughs> 
first of all, you know, I'm just really happy to be here. It's my first time in Grenada, so I'm really excited to be here. And this race, you know, it's just a race I really wanted to get out of the way, just to, where I'm, just to see where I'm at. I didn't get to see the replay, but, you know, I felt good, hoping that everything went good according to the coach. All of the new things in your life, a new mommy, a businesswoman, now back as an athlete, how much sweeter was this? <laughs> It was, it was that much sweeter. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this season, you know, being an experienced athlete and just enjoying, you know, just the journey so far, having my son, being an athlete and still coming back and, you know, defying the odds. I'm just looking forward to it. And I've been working hard and I'm excited that I came out here and I represented well. Speaking of working hard, after a race like that, you'll go back, look at the tape. In your mind, just from what you felt on the track, what do you need to work on? Honestly, I think I need to still work on my transition. You know, I, I think I had a good start, but, you know, the coach would tell you that's different. <laughs> but uh, the transition definitely is something to work on. But it's the first race, as I said, and I'm just excited for it so far. Well, we want to know why you didn't go on the boat with us yesterday. <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> I we had life jackets. I still can't swim. I'm terrified of swimming and, and water. Because, you know, you can't Next control time. it. Next time. I'll try to, you know, learn. My son starts swim class soon, so I'll join him. Take it with him and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Lewis. Thank you. Uh, she is something.